What's up, everybody? I hope you are all doing fantastic. At the start of this month, I promised you guys that I was going to make a video every day this month in September. And uh, for the past couple of days, I haven't made a video. So to catch up, I'm going to make three videos today. Uh, you might notice that I have this name tag right here. Check it out. So that uh, says nursing student. So I'm, I just entered my second year of my Bachelor of Nursing degree. Just got home from school. And uh, yeah, it's going well so far. Uh, I'm looking, ex looking forward and I'm excited to the year coming up. But anyway, today I um, wrote down some notes for three different ideas for videos. So today, or for this video, I'm talking about uh, the concept of being non-judgmental. Not judging other people and stuff like that. So you, he you might hear this uh, quite often. It's important to be non-judgmental because you don't know where a person is coming from, if you react or you see someone and you make judgments, well, you might be incorrect, it might be negative, you might not know the full story. Like, let's say someone was acting, you know, mean or, or, or angry or, or not behaving in the way that you think a person should behave and you say, oh, what a terrible person or something like that or, or whatever you say. Um, well, you don't know, maybe like they had a death in the family, so they're, they're emotional and they're on edge or something like that. You never know what someone's going through. And that's where the concept of non-judgmental comes, comes into play. And people say being non-judgmental helps you be able to connect with other people and to be and being more empathetic and understanding where a person is at, uh, really, really helps everyone out because we're kind of all on this planet together. It just makes things a little bit more harmonious and and uh, less stressful and kind of better for everyone if uh, we're non-judgmental. Now, here's here's the thing about this. I, I agree with this sentiment. I understand where, where it's coming from and I, I agree for the most part. But uh, there is a paradox that I've noticed which I think could cause problems. Um, because here's the thing, it is actually impossible to be non-judgmental. We have this, so if we create a value of being non-judgmental, well, that's almost impossible and it could come with some conflict, some internal conflict, and it could actually, um, be kind of resulting in the opposite thing that you want. Here's what I mean is that the way that our brains work, we're judging stuff all of the time. We have values and we might see someone else not in accordance with those values. And uh, we might think to ourselves, hey, they shouldn't be doing that, they shouldn't be doing this or whatever. But the thing is, it's automatic. You can't control the judgments that are coming up. It's automatic. And so if we have this value or we say, ah, we shouldn't be judgmental, well, first of all, that could create a thing where we, if we notice someone else being judgmental, then we have a judgment towards them about not about being judgmental. And therefore, we're kind of in this hypocritical mode of, hey, that person's so judgmental, they're judging this or they're judging that. But in that moment, you're kind of being judgmental. And, um, you know... Judging isn't a negative thing. It's just a, a, a part of our brain. We judge stuff all of the time. We kind of make interpretations. We kind of value them against our own value system. So it's not a bad thing to be judgmental. It's, and so the way I see it is, and the other thing is if we're, if we notice ourselves judging, which is an automatic response, and we think non-judgmentalness is the way to go, then we're going to feel guilty about us being judgmental. And that's, that's no good. You don't want to feel negative emotions when you don't have to. Um, so I do agree that maybe we shouldn't act or, or take some of our judgments seriously and find a non-judgmental state. But just saying we should be non-judgmental is a paradox and could create a lot of inner conflict and guilt, as I said. So instead 
of saying, ah, I, can't, I have to be non-judgmental. It's be more aware of when judgments come up. So you might be walking down the street and you notice like a parent yelling at a child and your automatic response is, hey, wow, like that is inappropriate. That parent should not be parenting that way. That parent's a bad parent and that kid's going to grow up all screwed up. You might just have that thought and it's not something that you really thought of or like you controlled. It's not a conscious thought you had. It just popped up in your head. You can't really control every thought that comes into your mind. But what you can do is be aware. Like when that thought comes up, instead of just going on with your life and believing that thought to be true, just start being aware of it and start questioning that thought. You know, you might have that thought, but it doesn't necessarily have to be true just because you thought it. It's impossible not like to stop thoughts from coming or judgmental thoughts from coming, but we could challenge those that come up. So if you have that judgment come up, like, oh, that's a bad, bad parent or they're not parenting very well. Well, you could ask yourself, well, does this judgment make sense? Is this necessarily true? Is there like bigger parts of the picture that I'm not seeing? And you might, might go through that scenario, oh, maybe they are having a bad day, or maybe they had a certain upbringing or, or whatever. You know, you don't know what's going on in their life. And, um, you know, these rational types of thoughts aren't going to come up automatically. You have to kind of observe the automatic thoughts coming up and be aware of them, but then to kind of step back from them and say, hmm, does this make sense? And then consciously choose what you're going to believe. Thoughts are going to be automatic, but you don't have to believe every thought that comes into your own mind. You could question your own thoughts. You could question your own innate things. And then that's a way to become less judgmental overall. By just saying, I'm going to be non-judgmental and not have any judgmental thoughts, doesn't make sense. It's kind of going against human nature and will cause resistance and... Um, more judgmentalness really in the end um, so yeah I think that's it like like notice the thoughts coming in ask yourself if it makes sense or if you actually believe that or if there's other perspectives that you could kind of see this thing in and um, consciously choose the belief that you want you might be like oh this person really needs help or you know I don't know you might have many different interpretations but that's my view of it, and this video is like eight minutes of rambling, so I'm going to leave it there. Peace.